hospital this morning with his family, and there's really been no change since last night. He's uh, in stable condition uh, in a medically induced coma, but getting excellent care. He was very fortunate that he was where he was when the uh, when the attack occurred, uh -huh. and it was a tremendous debt of gratitude, as we all do, to Dr. Zerwas for being on the spot and doing such a remarkable job. Yes. You, know, he's, you know, he's been referred to as one of the most popular members of the House. I'd say he's probably the most popular member of the House. He's been here a long time and, and uh, has earned the respect and the love of all the members. Any way to know how this might affect the flow of progress in here the next couple of days? Well, you know, our prayers and thoughts are with him and his family, and um, we'll just take it as it comes. But right, right now, we're, we're cautiously optimistic about his recovery. We'll move forward with the work of the House. Well, he's a, he's a very, very strong man, and um, we're very fortunate to have Dr. Zerwas with us here, who uh, was among the first on the scene and uh, administered CPR last night that uh, really saved his life. But uh, the doctor seemed to be cautiously optimistic about recovery. And our, our prayers and thoughts are with the family and, and with Edmund at this time. I've known, I've known Edmund since I was a, a young boy. We're family friends. Um, and uh, my, he's been um, in, his, in his private and professional life um, with a, um, a business in Seguin. My family's been very close to him. So we've known him outside of politics for many, many years, and so he means an awful lot to to me and my family personally, and obviously to all the House members. He's he's uh, probably the most most loved member here. So uh, it's a very, very uh, you know, deeply heartfelt, serious situation. Our prayers are with him.